When I first joined the Huskies in 1961, as a brand new rookie to the team, we had youngsters from 13 different high schools, from the Mayo to Innisfail, from across the province. We all came together, we didn't know each other ahead of time, brand new coaching staff, their mission was to put together these strong individuals into a team. We all recognized we were in a pretty magical place. The, the associations were great, uh, the emerging friendships were great, we still have them 50 years after that fact. Uh, the recognition that we were able to do something special, if we were each able to say, I'll make the personal sacrifices. And so every one of us made our, our own individual kind of personal sacrifice to make sure we were able to play. And the bottom line rule was no practice, no play. Well, let me tell you, nobody missed a practice because everybody wanted to play in that next game. I think the coaches deserve recognition, obviously, for the contributions they made to the team. And in a lot of cases, um, it was the team that got the publicity or the team that got the ink or the quarterback that got the ink because that came with that position. But uh, realistically, the coaches were the ones that drove the team. They were the ones that set the standard. They were the ones that set the pace. And in retrospect, they deserve they deserve full recognition for what they did and what they brought to the team. Everyone on that team was a leader. And what they learned was that if you put into it what you need to put into it, you'll reach your outcome. Whether it's in football, whether it's in uh, education, whether it's in your chosen profession. And they all talk about that period helping them crystallize their own thinking in terms of what they had to do next in their next steps. Each had, I think, that sense of self-confidence to be able to say, I can do this. And as a result of being with the Edmonton Huskies during 62, 3, and 4, I have no doubts I can do this. So throw me my next challenge.